public works issues. The icy and snowy roads are here, so please slow down and drive carefully. I've also, public works has also asked me to announce that you should not push snow onto or across the road as this creates a safety hazard for motorists. Another issue that has been brought to our attention is smoking at public buildings. Uh, it has been brought to our attention, I guess, that not everyone is following the signs posted at the public buildings with respect to smoking. These signs clearly state that one must be at least nine meters away from the building if they are going to smoke near public buildings. Please obey the signs, and if someone brings, your to, brings it to your attention, please uh, be respectful of them and, and uh, the fact that, you know, you should be obeying the signs. We have to start concerning, you know, looking after each other. The Youth and Elders Centre. Construction on the Youth and Elders Centre will start in the new year, hopefully uh, in a little while here, as soon as we can, they can break ground, and it is hoped that we can have our opening sometime in the spring of 2016. The Youth and Elders Centre will be constructed between the Gaylord Powders Arena and the uh, current Community Hall, and we're really looking forward to having that opening because it'll be a place for our young people and our seniors to, to come together and do some activities. The new fire hall will also be starting construction on this, this year and uh, we would like to again extend our gratitude to Grand River Enterprises for providing $2 million toward the construction of this new fire hall. And hopefully we'll get that open to either this fall or next spring as well. So we've got a couple of good, uh, good projects on the go here that are going to benefit the community overall.